Everyone might already hear the success story of Elon Musk, right? From the staggering accomplishments he's achieved when he co-founded PayPal up to the point of making his name in the crypto game, Musk seems to be a champ. But do you know that there are some things that Musk has done that we aren't aware of? Well, that would be what our video is all about. Here are some of the untold truths about Elon Musk. But before that, mind smashing the like button, click subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you won't miss a single video from us. All right, let's start. Number one, task failed successfully. Before Musk reached on top of the tallest mountains, he had to go through the deepest seas. But he achieved that because he believed that if something is important enough, you should try, even if the probable outcome is failure. From his childhood, he was suffered from bullying. Musk was born in South Africa to a father who is an engineer and a mother who is a model. You would call him a nerd because he is constantly engrossed in literature and technology. Musk was never a very social person. Because he was younger and weaker than his peers, he was an easy target for bullies. He has hurled down a stairway and assaulted so badly that he blacked out and had to be hospitalized in one incident. On the other hand though, whilst on vacation in South Africa, he suffered from cerebral malaria, which is a complication of Plasmodium falliparum malaria, which has a 20% fatality risk even when treated. He recovered in six months, but shed 45 pounds throughout that time. Seeing your child die is one of the most traumatic experience a parent can have. In May 2002, Musk and his longtime girlfriend and first wife, Justine Wilson, welcomed their first child. They named him Nevada Alexander. However, at the age of 10 weeks, he died of sudden infant death syndrome, or SIDS. He had been deprived of oxygen for so long that he was brain dead by the time that paramedics arrived. Musk has never spoken publicly about the incident. It seems like we're getting through Musk's life then. It's so sad when you're on his side. But number two, Tesla and SpaceX, united in one master plan. Since Tesla was launched, it plans to produce batteries that are cheap, long-lasting, and reusable. They are focusing on the development of a new type of battery that is efficient enough to power our own homes. In electric cars though, higher energy density means more power from a smaller package, therefore reducing weight and improving overall efficiency. Elon even mentioned that the primary focus of Tesla isn't electric cars, but batteries. But despite all of this, is Tesla just all about electric cars and energy efficient batteries? What else though? Well, it's kind of unbelievable, but Tesla and SpaceX are collaborating to accomplish space travel. All right, let me explain. I believe that Musk's ideological goal from the beginning is to make humans interplanetary species. At this point, it's kind of conclusive that all the other companies Musk has founded are heading in one direction, which is space travel. They were founded to help each other towards a cause. What the companies did on Earth is just a scent on what Musk's grand plan is, but why? As being a graduate with a bachelor's degree in physics, Musk is intelligent enough to design a reusable rocket propelled by fuel to orbit, but is powered by batteries to achieve interplanetary travel using light as a primary energy source. With Tesla, SolarCity, Neuralink, and The Boring Company, these ventures would spice up the master plan to achieve its ultimate goal, to conquer and populate another Earth-like planet. And that, my friend, is a lot more than a base of steel. Number three, Zip2 and his failure from Netscape. Not many know this, but Musk applied for a position at Netscape, but did not receive a response since he lacked a computer science education. He graduated from Wharton School with degrees in economics and physics. He even visited their office, but returned since he was too shy to speak with anyone. Following that, he chose to explore his ideas and founded Zip2, a web software company that provides business information similar to online yellow pages. But Musk's and Netscape's futures could have been different if he hadn't been shy and if Netscape had given him a chance. Although many of you may not consider it a low point in his life, keep in mind that at the time, Netscape was one of the most prominent tech businesses and Musk had squandered an opportunity because he was shy. 
with Musk as its CEO, Zip2, a company started by Musk and his brother, was doing well. In the long run, the board of directors decided to remove Musk as the CEO of his own company. Musk did not have the essential operational responsibilities according to the board, and hence he could not be the CEO. Another concern that they identified was his lack of expertise, and as a result, a new CEO was hired. He held his shares and received $22 million when the company was sold to Compaq. Number 4. Mars Oasis and the Start of SpaceX Musk conceived of Mars Oasis, a scheme to cultivate plants on Mars soil in 2001. He and a few others traveled to Moscow in search of intercontinental ballistic missiles or ICBMs, capable of launching the payloads into space. They met with a few companies who turned down their idea. He returned to Russia for the same project six months later. This time, they were offered an $8 million deal for a rocket, which Musk rejected because it was too pricey. Musk considered starting his own company to build affordable rockets whilst flying back from Moscow. As a result, SpaceX was born. Musk established SpaceX in 2002, intending to lower space transportation costs and make a Mars colonization a reality. Musk put a lot of money into SpaceX from the proceeds of the PayPal sale. Many investors were skeptical after the company's first three launches failed. They only had enough money for one more launch and were on the point of going bankrupt. Musk was under a lot of pressure at the time. The fourth launch was a big success, and as a result, NASA awarded SpaceX a $1.6 billion contract. SpaceX was delivering rockets into space for a third of the price of the competition. Musk had gone all out for the SpaceX launch, which thankfully went off without a hitch. And number 5. The real reason Musk became an entrepreneur Musk says that he didn't become an entrepreneur to be financially successful. He wanted to radically change the world for the better. In terms of the far future, Musk has already outlined his plans. In October 2018, he wrote on Twitter that, You should ask why I would want money. The reason is not what you think. Very little time for recreation. Don't have vacation homes or yachts or anything like that. About half of my money is intended to help problems on Earth and half to help establish a self-sustaining city on Mars to ensure the continuation of life of all species, in case Earth gets hit by a meteor, like the dinosaurs or World War III happens and we destroy ourselves. Musk realized early on that there are five areas he could focus on sustainable energy, the internet, making life multi-planetary, and perhaps artificial intelligence, and rewriting genetics. With the latter two though, he says, I knew things could go wrong, so he decided not to pursue them. Elon Musk's bold proposal to transform humanity into a multi-planetary species, beginning with the colonization of Mars, will be costly. The Tesla and SpaceX CEO intends to reduce the cost of a journey to Mars to the same level as the average US home, which is currently around $200,000 per ticket. Even then, there's a long way to go in terms of funding the intricate architecture of a stable Earth-Mars route. Musk believes the sole reason he's personally gaining fortune through his multiple companies in renewable energy, electric cars, and space transportation is to help bring this bold vision to fruition. I believe that as we demonstrate that this is achievable, that this ideal is attainable and support will grow over time, Musk said. And now you know the things that Elon Musk doesn't want you to know. Hope you liked the video, and if you did, consider subscribing and comment your thoughts down in the comments section below. Till then, have a nice day.